Hello, this is Revival Guyver, and today I'll be talking about my January 2023 uh, Everyday Carry, or ETC. Um, so this is what I carry on an everyday basis um, to work, wherever I gotta go. Uh, so this is what I normally carry on me. The only things missing are my keys, because it's too easy to copy them from a picture, and my wallet, uh, because it's personal identification, and I don't see any reason for anybody to see that. So my keychain normally sits onto my belt loop with this climbing carabiner. This is a uh, Petzl de Gin. Um, it is a rated carabiner. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. It's good to about 5,000 pounds. Um, I prefer climbing style ones, so this way they don't break. I also like the smooth action on this. It's really nice. And the way the lock is, it doesn't get snagged on anything, which is good because um, having my keys fall off randomly is not optimal for what I do for work. So this is great. Um, relatively cheap. It's about 10 bucks. So if I lose it, I'm not too worried about it. I got, probably have about 60 of them floating around uh, that I've gotten over the years. Um, you know, in all different colors. I think my other one for my uh, work set of keys is orange. So I can track which is which. So that's going to be the first one on here. Um, I also have this nice brass capsule. Um, yeah, just this cage and some other letters on it. This is made by County Comms. Um, this is their uh, brass match or compass capsule Gen 2. So it has a nice little compass on top. And both caps are removable. And they both have O-rings. I had to pause it for a moment so I could open that up. Because I don't have the kind of dexterity I need for this. But uh, you can see it's got an O-ring. It's got a nice neural top in it. All brass. And on the inside, uh, I just keep a few things that I normally keep for work. Uh, which is... Toothpicks. I have to deal with a lot of people that I have to have a you know, nice look for, but whatever. Um, and some... Um, Safety pins. Well, they also tend to come in handy when you least expect them. For everything from picking locks to holding things together. And maybe even popping a blister if I really had to. Um, but yep, so it is all brass all the way through. Got a lanyard hole on that side. This side I can do a little bit easier. And again, another O-ring. And both sides have the same threads, so I can flip them around without any trouble. So that's that. I'm just leave that on the side here. Uh, next is going to be a Right in the Rain Universal Notebook. Notebook. Notepad, notebook, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this is an all-weather book. It's got a little um, ruler on the back on both sides, inches and millimeters. Um, and it is a lined and grid design. So these are water resistant. And uh, they work out pretty well, but you do need a pen or a pencil. Pencil might not run right as well in it, but it can. Uh, this is my preferred kind of pen. This is a uh, Pentel uh, Energel Liquid Gel Ink uh, 0 0.7, which is a medium tip. Writes really, really smooth, lasts a really long time, and it doesn't smear. Also, during this time of year, I also have some pretty nasty allergies. This is a Vix Vapro Inhaler. So it's, and I have a pen clip on it. It fits really well. I would stick it right in my pocket without any trouble. And it's just one of those that you stick in your nose and inhale. And it helps clean out your sinuses. Also, I have a, this is the Barut V3, which is the same flashlight that I used uh, for my review. Uh, month or two ago. So it's actually really bright. Got a bunch of extra settings on the side. It's got UV. Like that. It's got red flash and strobe, which is really annoying. Uh, it's got a really bright high beam. I actually could feel the heat in my hand. Uh, that you can see that high. The other one was turbo. That's medium. That's low. And then there's an economy. Which is like a super low, it's like 
five lumens if I remember correctly. Um, which is a magnetic end, has a lanyard in it. Fits really well in the pocket watch uh, pocket on your jeans. Fits right in there just fine. And it's rechargeable with a type C charge cable. And it comes with one. Um, so really, really nice. Lasts quite a little quite a while before it needs to be recharged. Uh, so that's that. And then coming to the sharp items. This is just a cheap coast. This is the FX-135, I believe. I'm sorry, 175. The FX-175 is a sheep foot style frame lock knife. A little bit of micarta here. When it closes up, it protects the blade so it doesn't come through and break anything open. So this is great for plastic packages, um, box tape, um, you know, small items, letters, things of that nature. And then the big knife I carry is a uh, CJRB Tigris, which is obviously quite a bit bigger. A um, bit of a uh, chopper style blade. Works out really, really well for me for much larger items, breaking down pallets, breaking down boxes, uh, opening up paint cans. Um, I've, clearly you can see the wear that's on here. Uh, I've used it to pry many things in the past. Has a lanyard hole in the back, which I don't use. And it has the belt clip on the other side. For such a strange looking handle, it is supremely comfortable. It is just a basic micarta, but it is it fits really well in the hands. Um, so definitely worth it in price. I think that was $50 at $10. That's $4. This is... Um, well, I can't tell you the price on that one. That ranges pretty wildly, depending if it's on sale or not. And I got it as a gift, so I'm not sure what they would pay for it. Uh, about $4. Uh, this is about $4 for a three or four pack. This is 20 bucks. That's 10 bucks. Um, so not too bad. If I lose anything, it's not the end of the world. Um, but this is what I normally keep with me. So that's just a quick rundown for January. If anything changes, um, I will update it. As a heads up, this is the knife that I just put away. This is the one I had in December, which is also a Coast. Is that bottle opener I was talking about earlier. Um, so it's a little bit larger. Um, you can see it's pretty worn. I gotta sharpen this. Um, my big complaint about this is this weird um, pivot point. I get things stuck on, including my finger. You can see it, might be able to see it like that. Uh, my finger gets stuck underneath it all the time and actually causes me some damage. This is the FX200, which is supposed to be the upgrade. It's a tad larger. So, tad larger with the bottle opener on the end. But I don't drink alcohol, so there's no point in me doing that. And, uh, still a frame lock. And that's it. So that is my January EDC 2023. Uh, if anything here interests you, uh, if you want to see a review on this light, and coming soon will be the review on this knife, um, I will be having it probably in the description on one of those sides. Um, I'm still learning how that works, so please bear with me. And that is it. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.